This is the free serum spreadsheet that you can download by following the link in the video description. When you copy the file, the first thing that you will see is your action stream. And in the action stream, you will see all of your contacts, but they are sorted by the due dates. And these due dates are your follow-up reminders. Uh, you can see that they are also color-coded, so the overdue ones, they are in red. The ones that are scheduled for today are in orange and all the future ones are in grey. You can always sort your contacts by alphabet, but this is not very convenient because, for example, it doesn't matter if D comes before B because I need to follow up with Ruby on the 6th of October, so my action with Joe is not as urgent as my follow up with Ruby. In the template, you can see that all of these dates have formulas. This was done so that no matter on which day you download the template, you will still see some of the overdue actions, some of the actions scheduled for today and some for the future. But once you download the template, you can always customize it. For example, let's say that I want to check in with Katrin today. So I can change this to the 16th of October 2024. I press enter and then the date is highlighted in orange. So what I can do now is just sort the action stream. And this is just a reminder for you so that if you do any accidental change that it doesn't save straight away. So you can always check this to not show you for five minutes. Then I press on OK and all of the actions are sorted again. And I can see that for today I have three actions. The great thing about Google Sheets is that it's quite um, interactive compared to Excel. For example, here you will be able to switch between different views. See contacts only with actions. So all of your contacts that don't have actions will not be shown here. Then you can also go to contacts without actions. This is great because sometimes I can add a contact and I just forget adding a next action to it. So by going into this view, I can change some of the contacts and set next actions for them. For example, let's say that with TAS it would be great to touch base before the end of the year, so I'll put December 2024, just to make sure that I check in with TAS. There is also another view that's called focus mode. The focus mode helps you to focus only on the things that are urgent, so that all of your attention goes to the most important tasks. And once you're ready, you can just exit the view and for example, let's imagine that I already asked Ruby about her plans for the next quarter, so I can set another action for the future date, like 9th of December 2024, and I'll just change it to send a follow-up reminder. Done, and then I just sort all of my actions. The great thing about this uh, template is that you don't need to add it to many things. So, of course, you can customize it further, you can see that the status here and also another column project stage, they are drop down lists. So you can have different um, options here. But not everyone needs uh, project stages. Some people prefer to have deal stages or they call them sales deals. So you can always customize it to fit your business needs. So you just click on the edit button here and then you have different stages that you can change to whatever fits you better. Another thing that you can do in Google Sheets, you can click on extensions, uh, go to add-ons, manage add-ons, and there will be different add-ons available. You can try to find the add reminders add-on. Once you add it uh, to your Google Sheets, then you can go to, you will see in the extensions, there will be add reminders. You can go to add reminders, set up reminders, and add a new reminder, and then you can see that the spreadsheet recognizes that the due date column, it has dates. So you can set a reminder one day in advance and then notify me so the email will be sent to your Gmail account. Once you do this, you just click on done and it is saved. So this means that the reminder will go to you one day in advance before the action date. And then you will see reminder sent. So it means that the reminder was sent to your Gmail account. This is good for those of you who do not plan to use the spreadsheets on a daily basis. Let's see how it looks. Go to your Gmail account and you receive an email. In this email, you will see the date of the reminder, then some information about the person that you need to be in touch with and also a link to your spreadsheet. So you can always click on the spreadsheet and go back to your file. 
the only sheets that you need to edit in this template is the action stream. So this is uh, where everything happens. So you can add new columns, you can add more rows. Uh, the other sheets that are available in this spreadsheet, they are for you, just for your reference. For example, the overview tab just uh, shows you what happens in your CRM spreadsheet. The report date is calculated automatically, so you can see that the date set for today. So every time that you, every day that you open the spreadsheet, the date will change automatically. You don't need to do anything. You will see your total progress. This is the overview of your projects or sales deals, depending on how you name them. The workload is another important part of your work because it can show you if you are behind too many tasks. But then you also have your pipelines and I also can see my total revenue from this spreadsheet. The calculation tab is another tab that you don't need to change. These are all formulas, so they are calculated automatically. The spreadsheet takes information from your action stream and then gives them a graphical representation. And you will also see instructions, but the instructions, it's just a link to the video that you are currently watching, or you can also go to the blog post that we have published on our website, where we go into more detail about how the spreadsheet works and also provide a few more examples if you want to try some other spreadsheets before committing to one of them.